Welcome. Thanks for joining me for this week's devotion. This past weekend, uh, we were at the uh, New Beginnings Camp here by the Chilliwack River. And it's been such an exciting time. We've enjoyed wonderful worship. We've been able to pray together. We've listened to God's word. We've had fun and laughter. We've enjoyed excellent food and wonderful company. And I'm so thankful to our New Beginnings Fellowship for being able to have events like this and uh, just to celebrate the graciousness and the goodness of God and to invite anybody from Trinity who is able to come along. Being here by the Chilliwack River it reminded me of just how many times in the Bible the word river is heard. But I wanted to just draw our attention to one time. And this is from Psalm 36. Psalm 36 begins with a, a statement about the, uh, the wicked people and how they leave God out and it ends in the same way. But in the middle, we find this glorious statement about the goodness and the grace of God. Uh, we read there these words from verses five to 10. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In you, your light, we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. It's that phrase in verse eight that the Lord gives them, gives us drink from his river of delights. And as you hear the sound of the river behind and see the flowing water, what a glorious picture this is of just the river of delight, the God's abundance, God's goodness, God's grace keeps on flowing. But what are these delights that, that the Lord gives? Well, the following verse, verse nine tells us, it says, for with you is the fountain of life and in your light, we see light. With the Lord is the fountain of life, the source of life, the very beginning. Uh, he was there before all time and he, and he has his love for you and for me from before the creation of the world that he has always loved us. He's the source of all things that are good. But also it says that in your light, we see light, that he's the vision, he's the purpose, he's the direction for what lies ahead for us, like looking downstream. He's, he's the one who calls us to serve him. He's the one who calls us to witness for him, to live for him. And so in this psalm, we see the glory of God at the beginning and the glory of God who walks with us on the journey and brings us ultimately to our eternal rest. So I encourage you this week, as you listen to these words, as you see the, the scenery behind me, to remember that the Lord is with you. The Lord loves you, that he has always been there. He is the fountain of life and he is the one who guides us and leads us. For in his light, the light of Jesus, we see light, the true light. Let's pray. Oh Lord God, we thank you that you are indeed faithful and good. And we thank you that you have been with us even from before we realized it, that you are the source of all good things. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us now, leading us in the light and towards the light. And we thank you, Lord, that in Jesus, we have been rescued from darkness and brought into the light of the kingdom of the Son, whom you love, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So Lord, this day, may we indeed drink from the river of delights that you have, remembering who you are and what you've done, remembering 
that we are called and we have an eternal purpose and an eternal home. We thank you, O oh Lord, in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you as you continue through this week.